Hello everyone, welcome to Red's Tech. Myself Karthik Pannuswamy. Today we are going to look into one of the interesting topic in uh, string, uh, which is nothing but string constant pool. People call it as SCP. So why we should know this, right? Because uh, whenever we create uh, any string objects in Java, so we should know how from where it is getting created, how it is actually works. So in this video, we are going to get deeper into how it actually internally works to see how uh, the objects are getting. Uh, created between heap and string pool. So let's get into this, right? So let's say I'm creating string s1 is equal to new string of register stack, right? So when this line gets executed, so s1 is the object reference, which gets created in stack, and the object is getting created here with the register stack. Right? And this register stack is referred to s1, right? So here. Okay, so this s1 is referring to here. So let's say address location 100. Okay. And then string s2 is equal to new string of register. Again, I'm creating another object with the help of new keyword. So then again, I'm creating another object with register. Let's say this address location is 101 and that I'm assigning to s2. Okay. So this s2 is actually referring to this one, which is 101. When I say s1 equal to equal to s2, in our previous video, we have seen about what is the difference between dot equals and equal to equal to operator, right? So here, when I say S1 equal to equal to S2, as we know that equal to equal to operator actually compares the address location where it actually refers to, right? So here, S1 equal to equal to S2, basically S1 and S2 both are comparing from the heap memory, but both are having different address location, 100 and 101, right? So definitely it is going to return false. Okay, I think this one we understand already, right? Now, let's say, what is string pool in java okay so since uh, string is a special uh, class in java so they don't want to uh, you know create uh, same uh, string different uh, uh, you know number number of times in heap memory to avoid that particular difficulties so what they did so they want to make a unique copy a single copy for any uh, distinct value of a string in java so that is what they call it as a string pool so pool of strings where you have a lot of uh, unique uh, distinct uh, string objects you will find out here so let's see how it actually in the coding part okay so string s3 is equal to new string of java so whenever uh, heap uh, whenever we create any object in heap actually the one copy of that will be stored in the pool so basically this red string will be copied over here i don't write it here but actually there will be one copy here right so here when i say string s3 equal to new string of java so there will be an object called created in heap with the content of java let's say this is 102 because we use the new keyword, so it actually created a heap and again it creates another object in string pool as well. Let's say this is 200. Okay, and this is assigned to S3. S3 is object reference which will be stored in the stack. So S3 is here. So now this S3 is actually refers to here. Okay, 102. Right now, when I execute this line, right? So string S4 is equal to S3 dot in turn off. So this is the method. So this is the uh, one of the beautiful method in string class in Java. So basically, when I use int turn off, so it is going to check whether that particular um, object is already uh, uh, exists in the string pool or not. Okay. So when I say string s4 is equal to s3 dot int turn off, so s3 dot int turn. What is s3? S3 is nothing but the Java. Int turn means internally whether it contains or not within the string pool. So s3 object is nothing but this Java object. So Java is nothing but the content of this particular object S2, sorry S3. So it is going to return um, this uh, string pool instead of coming from here, instead of creates a new object in heap, it is going to return whether any object in string pool internally contains an object with the value Java or not. So since it already exists, it is going to return this one, but S4 I am assigning it, right? So S4 is stored here. Okay. And this S4 is actually getting it from string pool. Okay, so here S3 is coming from the heap memory and S4 is coming from the string pool because whenever it creates first time in heap, the clone or uh, the, the copy of that particular uh, object has been created in string pool. And when I, when I call it like intern, so it is going to return from the string pool, right? So this is coming from SCP. This is coming from heap, right? So when I say S3 equal to equal to S4, so when I'm comparing the address location of S3 and S4, as I said earlier, S3 is coming from heap memory, which is 102, and S4 is coming from a uh, string pool, which is 200. So this will be a false. 
Now, another line, I am saying string S4 is equal to Java. So, when I am creating another, this is another way of creating a, a string object, right? So, when I say string S5 is equal to Java, so string always, or whenever you create any object in string, right? So, it always check whether this particular object already exists in string pool or not. If it exists, it is going to return from there. Otherwise, it is going to create a new object in heap. So, since there is already an object with a Java value already created in here in string pool, so it is not going to create new object in heap. Instead, it is going to return from SCP, which is string pool. So when I say S5, so S5 is getting created here. Right? And this S5, I'm going to getting it from fetching it from the SCP, which is again stored in the same address location, which is 200, right? So when I say S4 equal to equal to S5, so what is S4 refers to object, the location address 200. And what is S5 refers to? S5 also refers to the same object or the same string pool with address location 200. So, and hence, this compares the address, right? So, both are returning 200 and 200, which is true. So, that is why it is true. So, this is how whenever you create any object in string, any string objects in Java, this is how it actually works. So, we should understand clearly whenever you create any string objects in Java, we should know from where it is coming from, right? Whether it is from the heap or is it from the string pool. So, this actually saves a lot of memory issues with heap. Instead of creating the same object Java, Java, Java many times in heap, it is actually returning the same uh, single copy uh, which is unique and distinct uh, with a value and it is going to turn back. So this serves a lot of purpose in terms of uh, tuning the heap memory and this is one of the beauty of uh, string as well. So I hope you guys understand this one. Now let me go and execute the same concept in Java uh, programming in the Eclipse and you will be getting in and out of that. Here I have written a program to demonstrate how the string pool works. So basically, as I explained in the theory session, so we have a string S1 is equal to new register check of, sorry, new string of register check, which means like a new object has been created in heap with uh, the value register check. Similarly, string S2 is equal to new string of register check. So basically, it is also again creating another new object in heap because we have used the new keyword. So here we are explicitly telling uh, JVM to create an object in um, heap memory, right? So here I am going to compare the value of S1 is equal to equal to S2 or not. So here I am going to compare uh, the address location of two objects. So definitely two are like these both S1 S2 are different objects. It is going to return false. So let me go and execute this program and I want to explain with the output as well. See guys here. So it's coming as false right. Now the use case 2. Let's say I am creating another object string S3 is equal to new string of Java. So again as I said this also got created in uh, heap and a copy has been created in uh, string pool because with the values Java. Right. When I say S4 is equal to string S4 is equal to S3 dot intern of. So basically intern method it is going to internally check whether it exists or not in the SCP which is a string constant pool. If it exists it is going to return that right. So here when I say S3 dot intern of. So I am going to return the uh, copy of uh, the S3 which is already there in SCP and return and assign back to S4. Now when I compare S3 equal to equal to S4 definitely it is not going to uh, have the same address location because S3 is referred in the heap memory and S4 is coming from the uh, string constant pool and that is why it is returning as false right both addresses are not same and when I say string S5 is equal to Java so here when I say S5 equal to Java I am trying to create a new object but here I am not explicitly telling to create in heap but instead I am just saying S5 equal to Java so it is going to check whether any object in string pool already exists with the value Java or not so since we already have it here it is going to return that one so that is why i said like refers to the scp which is string constant pool and when i compare s4 equal to equal to s5 so s4 is already coming from the constant pool uh, string pool and s5 is also coming from the same constant pool uh, so and that is why s4 equal to equal to s5 is returning true and hence if you guys understand this one whenever we are uh, uh, dealing with a string object in java if it coming from the string pool so always uh, the memory address will be the same right i hope you guys understand this concept uh, i would request you guys to uh, write the same program in your eclipse instance and try to see uh, the output and you might get some uh, doubts about the string class or uh, especially in string pool so if you guys have any questions or any uh, doubts or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section uh, if you guys haven't liked our channel or if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to the channel as well as share it with your friends if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and i will see you in the next video guys until then bye bye